All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x. So what I'm gonna do is first start by dividing both sides by nine to the power of x. So this means that I get nine to the power of x over nine to the power of x plus 12 to the power of x over nine to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x over nine to the power of x. Now, nine to the power of x over nine to the power of x, those two cancel out and I get one. So I have one plus 12 to the power of x over nine to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of x over nine to the power of x. Now from here, I can rewrite this as 12 over nine to the power of x and 16 to the power of x over nine to the power of x, I can rewrite this as 16 over nine to the power of x. Now 12 over nine, that simplifies to four over three. And 16 over nine, that simplifies to four squared over three squared. Now four squared over three squared, that's the same thing as four over three squared. And now I have this to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So four over three to the power of two to the power of x, I can rewrite that as four over three to the power of x to the power of two. And now I'm gonna let four over three to the power of x equal to the variable u. So if I substitute in u for four over three to the power of x, I get one plus u is equal to u squared. And now if I subtract u and one on both sides, these two cancel out, these two cancel out, and I get u squared minus u minus one is equal to zero. Now to solve this equation, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. So in this case, a is one, b is negative one, and c is negative one. So I get u is equal to negative of negative one plus or minus the square root of b squared negative one squared, which is positive one minus four times a, which is one times c, which is negative one all over two a, so two times one. And this is equal to positive one plus or minus the square root of one plus four over two, which is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. So we have u is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. Now remember how we let four over three to the power of x equal to u. Well, this means that four over three to the power of x is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five over two. Now, this gives me two equations. I get four over three to the power of x is equal to one plus the square root of five over two and I get four over three to the power of x is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. Now one minus the square root of five, that's gonna be a negative number. And notice how this is a positive number to some power. Well, you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal negative, meaning there's no solution to this equation and all that's left is this equation. So to solve this equation, what I'm gonna do is start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log four over three to the power of x is equal to log one plus square root of five over two. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's gonna equal b times log a. 
In this case, I have log 4 over 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 4 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now that x is a term, we can, we can isolate it by dividing both sides by log 4 over 3. So when these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 4 over 3. And log 4 over 3, I can rewrite that as log 4 minus log 3. 